Hello and welcome to Storytime with Desi. Now, you might be wondering, alright, what's this going to be about? Well, Storytime with Desi is a podcast where I will be sharing stories of my own creations, which are mostly match up and Frankenstein's of different other stories that I managed to stitch together into a reimagining of some sort. And I guess you could classify it as a type of fanfic, but I like to class them as their own unique stories because I do use different elements of different stories so they're not all exactly the same but I will include some similar elements to my stories you could say to make them a bit more unique and that you connect them to me like if I use a type of certain detail for a character you could be like yeah that's Desi but Uh, Aside from that, this is a bi-weekly podcast where I will be sharing my stories. Now, you could be doing homework, cleaning your room, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning your bathroom, or just trying to find something new to listen to and get involved in. Well, this is the podcast for you if you're into stuff like that and into stuff with really deep lore, which I try to include into my stories. If you are interested in anything fantasy or deep lore wise then you came to the right place because that's usually what i do now my first story that i am going to be sharing with you is one of my newer concoctions of mashup stories which i like to call metal plague now this was a school assignment that I had to really rush, but I didn't like the outcome of it since I wasn't able to add as much to the story as I wanted to. So I will be remaking it here on uh, Storytime with Desi. And I hope you enjoy. And sorry if some points of the stories don't make sense. I tend to just think on the fly. I don't plan these things out, which is something I need to fix, really. But... I will be telling you a sample of my story, and I hope that with this little sample, you'll get somewhat of an idea of my um, storytelling skills, and I hope you enjoy this. Alright, let's get going. Metal Plague, Chapter 1, Storming the Fort. The night was dark and cold, with the sounds of rain and thunder. Clashing in the sky, fighting for who would rule the clouds. Even though the rain sat in the night as no stars could be seen, the local pub was lively and bursting with the song of fiddles along with the singing of drunken men who were left with no place to go. As they cheered and danced, they were oblivious of the yelps of a woman desperately calling for help. In the rickety homes with nothing but a stench of filth and the scurry of rats, I walked down the dark long halls which seemed to grow ever longer with each step, winding and twisting into the abyss, ready to swallow me whole. Mama, I called, hearing the yelps and screams of my mother in a dim lit room with nothing but the cracked open door to see a shadowed figure beating my mother with a bottle of whiskey. Please, stop, my mother cried out. Peeking through the door, I saw the image of my mother crouching on the floor, barely having the will to look up, her face covered in blood and bruises. The salter raises the bottle of whiskey and breaks the bottle on her face, causing her to collapse onto the floor, weeping for what may be her last seconds of life. For a moment, she turned her glance towards me, and with that, she turned back to the salter. Using her remaining strength, she lifted her head off the floor with the help of her now bruised arms. With the visible pain, she mutters to them, He will never find it, so long as I live. The man just stood there, looking as if he had no remorse for what he had done. 
to this complete stranger of a woman. Then with a failed attempt to take a sip of the already broken whiskey bottle, with his drunken voice he mutters, Hey, oh, Missy, is the girl saying the balls don't need you alive then, eh? With that final word, he raises a rifle from his left arm, pulling the trigger. All right, that was the sample reading of Metal Plague. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you will decide to join me on this. Well, I'm guessing it's going to be a long journey of storytelling. This has been your host, Desi, from the podcast Storytime with Desi. And just remember that no matter what, anywhere that you are, anywhere that you're heading, be it in the city or in the woods, there's always going to be a place for you. This has been great. I hope to see you in a few weeks. Bye.